Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without a Hank. We are playing today in the FA Cup, which is a cup competition in which teams from different leagues can play one another as they move forward. Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers have made their way through the FA Cup and now we are playing a Premier League club, Wigan Athletic. This is nervous, exciting times for Swindon Town. There are literally millions of dollars on the line here. This is the biggest crowd we have ever played in front of and I, for one, am nervous. We've got John Green and John Green up top. Uh, we got Fat Lucas in goal. We got some other guys in the middle. And uh, we can just only hope that, uh, that we're going to be up to the challenge of Wigan Athletic. So today, some people wanted me to talk about uh, tell some ex-girlfriend stories. Uh, I'm happy to tell an ex-girlfriend story, although, of course, I don't want to use any ex-girlfriend's real names because they're nice people and now they're adults and they have lives. And the thought of you know, them being discussed uh, during uh, you know, FIFA matches is probably not something that's terribly exciting to them. So I am, I am really out of my league right now, literally. Um, so I'm going to uh, use uh, pseudonyms. Uh, specifically, I'm going to use pseudonyms of, oh, come on, you're a better passer than that, John Green. Um, I'm going to use pseudonyms of, uh, I, I, I'm just going to name all of my ex-girlfriends after members of 1980s heavy metal bands. So uh, today I'm going to tell you the story of Dave Mustaine. Uh, my, one of my college girlfriends. Dave Mustaine, nice, nice girl, um, dance major, very um, uh, opinionated, very, very um, attractive, nice person um, who uh, I, I made the mistake of going to Alaska with. Here's a lesson from history, my friends. People who go to Alaska are either running to something or they are running from something. And, um, and in my case, the thing that Dave Mustaine was running from was me. And unfortunately, I attended the trip with her. Oh, you can finish. Oh, it's frustrating. It's very, I mean, when you're playing, playing a team like Wigan Athletic, I mean, we're just getting, they're just a lot faster than we are. Um, you know, it's just, they have, they have pure speed that we don't have. But we have mustaches that they don't have. So everybody's got something. Um, Oh, I passed too late. I'm sorry, people who are good at FIFA and are watching this. So uh, basically, here's the story of Dave Mustaine and myself. I, uh, I, I, I like Dave Mustaine. I wanted to woo uh, her. And to do that, I, uh, one day we were, we were at dinner together. And we were just friends. And we were you know, in the cafeteria at dinner. And she said that she'd never been to Graceland. And I said that I'd never been to Graceland. And then I said, uh, do you want to go? And she said, what do you mean, do I want to go? And I said, do you want to go to Graceland? And she said, well, sure, eventually. And I said, why don't we go right now? And so 10 minutes later, we were in my car, and we drove all night to, uh, to Graceland. And we got there, and you know, we, had to, like, we slept in the car for a couple hours. And then we, we toured Graceland at 7 o'clock in the morning, totally sleep deprived. And then on the way home, uh, you know, she was like, OK, you're, I mean, you, oh, oh, God, oh, God, panic, panic. D, Lu Fat Lucas, I need you. I need you now more than ever. Thank you, Fat Lucas. Um, and then, yeah, so then we were, then we were dating. Uh, you know, in college, you don't go on proper dates or anything. But we were, oh, I needed to hit Y. We were functionally dating. Um, about two weeks after we went to Graceland, I asked Dave Mustaine if she wanted to go to Alaska with me for the summer. Uh, I had this idea in my head that we were, I was going to go to Alaska and it was going to be awesome and it was going to be life-changing because my dad, uh, many of you don't know this, but my dad is like an outdoors guy. I know that he ended up with like two pale sons who spend their lives on the internet, but he is, he is something of an outdoorsman, and he worked on a uh, salmon boat in Alaska, and I always thought this was pretty badass, and so I had it in my head. I knew I couldn't work on a salmon boat, but I had it in my head that I was going to go to Alaska and I was going to like, you know, discover my, my manness or something. Um, what actually happened is that I did, oh, oh. Oh, you got the pop 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 uh, maps do not reflect the actual size of the world. It was a very, thank you, Fat Lucas. It was a very 
very, very long drive. And by the end of the 14 days, I think it's safe to say that Dave Mustaine did not like me. Dave Mustaine found me extremely annoying. Unfortunately, in those same 14 days, I had decided that Dave Mustaine was the most wonderful woman in the history of the universe and that I could not live without her. We'll talk more about that in the second half. It's 0-0, zero, zero, nil, nil, uh, going into the second half here in the FA Cup. The, I think we're in the fifth or sixth round of the FA Cup, and I am facing a Premier League team. I am tiny little Swindon Town. Look at that. Manchester United and Fulham are the other teams left in this, this competition. It's pretty insane right now. We've just we've got to find a way to win, swoodily poopers. I believe you can do it. And by the way, Ball John Green, if you disappoint me, I will bring in Stone Cold Steve Austin. I am not afraid to substitute you out, my friend. So, um, oh no, oh no, oh no. Sorry. Okay. So we went to Alaska. By the time we got to Alaska, it was already pretty clear to me that Dave Mustaine did not like me anymore. But, you know, her not liking me made me like her all the more. Um, I just thought that she was amazing and brilliant and that, like, she was the greatest modern dancer of all time and that she was going to be, like, a choreographer on the level of Martha Graham and that she was a genius and yada, yada, yada. Um, right. So, um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We just, we couldn't do anything about that. I don't have the talent to deal with that kind of situation. Frustrating. We've got we've to find a way, guys. We've got to focus now. We need to be exactly the kind of man that I wasn't when I was dating Dave Mustaine. Um, so, uh, so what happened is that right after we got to Alaska, Dave Mustaine... Uh, we, we, I started working at an ice cream shop. She was working at a restaurant. We were living in a town called Moose Pass, Alaska. And pretty much immediately, no goal. Dave Mustaine uh, started seeing a 31-year-old uh, divorcee, um, short order cook. And uh, this was particularly painful for me because Dave Mustaine and I uh, lived in a, in a tent with four other people. And so I would, like, you know, see Dave Mustaine make out with uh oh why don't you get that pass oh make out with this 31 year old divor divorced uh, short order cook um at the time of course 31 was as old as a human being can possibly be whereas now it is four years ago ball john green hero of the day hugged by other john green oh my gosh ball john green scoring against premier league side wigan athletic let's look at it again ball john green finisher Oh, so uh, anyway, the, the, here's the point of the story. I, I became ex extremely severely depressed in Alaska. Uh, I've struggled with depression at various times in my life, but never more than when I was in Alaska. Uh, it was a physically beautiful place that was just not well suited to my talents. Ball John Green has a, has a breakaway. Ball John Green can't finish. Oh, that's devastating. Oh, all of Swindon is heartbroken. Oh, no, 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 Fat Lucas, preserving the draw. Okay, so I think if I tie, I get to play them again, which is not something I particularly want to do. I'd really like to win. Um, I don't have a ton of confidence in my ability to beat them. So, um, so here's what happened. I had to, I eventually had to leave Alaska and I had to fly home. I had to spend like all of the money that I'd made at the ice cream shop over the last, over the first two months of living there. I spent 100% of that money on a single plane ticket. Um, and, um, and then I, I, uh, I went home. But before I went home, I said to Dave Mustaine, I said, hey, listen, I can only pack two bags worth of stuff um, on the airplane. And I'm wondering if you would mind taking my toaster oven back to college at the end of the summer. Um, and she said, sure, I wouldn't mind doing that at all. And, uh, you know, I liked my toaster oven in the way that people do. Yes, give him a card, because that was rude. Um, I liked my toaster oven, and Dave Mustaine promised me, I want to repeat that, that that was not a good free kick, that, uh, that she would return my toaster oven to me at, uh, at the beginning of college. So I flew home, you know, I got some... Uh, was treated for my depression. By the end of by the end of the summer, I was I was doing a little bit better, ready to go back to college. Went back to college, and then uh, I met Dave Mustaine, and I said, "Hey, uh, good to see you. Sorry about um, 
you know, that time you, you broke my heart and I thought I would never be okay. Um, but I'm doing a little bit better. I still think you're beautiful and I miss you. I didn't say that, but I thought it. And, um, and then I said, you know, uh, do you have my toaster up? She said, no, nah, I'm really sorry, actually. Uh, I ended up having to give, give Roy, her 31-year-old divorcee of a boyfriend, a ride back to Seattle at the end of the summer. And uh, we didn't have room for his stuff and my stuff and your toaster oven, so we left the toaster oven on the side of the road in Soldotna, Alaska. And I have held a grudge about it ever since. And I, I mean, you know what? Look, I'm 34 years old. I'm happily married. I've got a beautiful son. Um, I'll tell you what I don't have. I don't have that toaster oven. And in fact, I've never had a toaster oven that was as good as that toaster oven. And I continue to resent not having a good toaster oven. Oh, we had a huge opportunity to win the game. Oh, Prutton. D. Prutton had a huge opportunity to win the game, but because he is not bald John Green or other John Green, he could not finish. And here we are in the 90th minute, drawing with Wigan. Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, oh, oh. I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate my... I will never forget... Oh. 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 I don't even know what to say. I don't. I panicked. I'm sorry I let you down, swoodily poopers, but we will get to face Wigan Athletic again. I will not see you and you will not see me. I can't even finish the outro. The devastation. Best wishes.